I feel like ministry school taught me that I am not a Christian. Starting to question like, is loving God just not enough? I know that she's with me and she's watching me every single day. She's Muslim. And I don't know how she feels about me, me being a Christian. Okay, so this is gonna be a very hard video for me to make because this is something that's really been on my heart. Um, and as you guys can see from the title of this video, we are going to talk about religion. We're gonna talk about faith and just where am I at? Before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This channel is just a little bit of everything. I don't believe in a niche because I just think I am a little bit of everything. I feel like as a content creator, like I'm so well-rounded and I do so many different things and I want this platform to be a little bit of everywhere. If you just like authenticity, if you like a person that's just me, y'all gonna fall in love with me more than whatever niche is gonna be on my channel. But today we're gonna talk about faith and where the hell am I at for real? So before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's get started with this topic. So I grew up in a Muslim home, um, but things weren't very religious. Specifically on my dad's side, my dad grew up Muslim. My mom followed the footsteps of my dad. I've always wanted to get closer to God, but never really knew how, never was really led to get closer to God, never went to the mosque. Only what we did is we don't eat pork. I always tell people I'm just Vietnamese, but I'm actually Vietnamese and Cham. Cham is from my dad's side. It's basically like Asian Muslim. They have their own um, language and everything that was created um, in Indonesia. And this is why my skin's a little bit darker than most Vietnamese people is because, yeah, my dad's like dark. I grew up in a household that was Muslim, but we weren't very religious in any way. I also went to school with a lot of like Africans and a lot of people that did practice the Muslim faith. I always tried to find ways where I could follow their footsteps. And I, I always loved the culture and the community behind what I seen, which was a lot of Muslim communities. I've had like one or two days where I would went to the mosque with one of my close Muslim friends. Very hard to understand, never really understood. I don't think I ever really learned it so much. As things got older, right? My sister and her man, she was led to Christianity. My mom also got closer to God, but she was born Buddhist. So instead of following Muslim um, faith, she really tapped into Buddhism and I would see her pray and listen to these Vietnamese um, YouTube videos. And it was just a beautiful experience because overall I seen her more happier, I seen her more faithful, and I seen her just believe skyrocket out of the roof. As I got older, I'm like, okay, what am I? Basically, I grew up older and I had to figure my faith out on my own because I never felt like I was led to anything or anybody at all. It wasn't until I came to Vegas that I got more exposed to Christianity. And I started to go to church and the first day that I went to church was such a beautiful experience and in my heart, <sighs> try not to get emotional, but in my heart, I, I, it really felt like home. I dive deep into going to church every single day, um, listening to worship music and following Jesus Christ for two years. And after that, I got exposed to going into ministry school. And I'm like, wow, this is another way that I'm able to get closer to God, um, really understand the Bible more because everything that I was exposed to and I learned, like it was just so beautiful. And there was so many times where I was in church where I could feel the Holy Spirit in my body, where I've seen God um, changed my life because of the things that I listened to inside of church and because I've been submissive to Christianity that I've seen God shift the way that my life moved right so I began to think okay I think I'm a Christian I think I'm a Christian amen hallelujah God is good Jesus is king so I decided to take the next step and I'm like, okay, let me go into ministry school. My goal when I got into ministry school is I wanted to learn more about the Bible. I don't know anything about the Bible and just me getting close to God, like literally changed my life. Life and my belief system and my faith and my happiness despite any 
crazy life situation that happens i'm able to stay grounded because god is everything to me and he's been able to hold my hand through any um trouble and tribulations in my life i started ministry school and on the first day i'm like this isn't it isn't it because of some of the rules that was in in the contract and also because i just didn't have time for it so i'm like yeah i don't believe that i am called for this and i, I specifically remember a lady praying on me on the first day of ministry school and she literally said in her prayer while she was holding on to me and putting the oil on me and she was saying that you've been saying yes to a lot of things that you were not meant to say yes to and now is the time where you realize that and you finally let go of the things that you've been saying yes to and say yes to what you're actually supposed to say yes to and that was my confirmation that no i'm not supposed to be in ministry school right now because one i don't have time at all literally it was eight hours for like three days of the week including weekends and you have to serve and all this other stuff and i think the whole concept was beautiful but i just personally personally knew that it wasn't my season to be in ministry school right now so after the first day i talked to the pastors um and cut things off then and there okay so i also want to say now that i'm editing this um my whole thing is the words come as you are is something that i love the most right um and i felt like ministry school the concept was amazing but the things that were in the contract it wasn't a big deal but it was like you had to dress a certain way first year students couldn't go date and i knew that i wasn't in the season of that right now because i'm trying to get married and have kids and it was more for younger folks and i didn't truly believe that i could come as i am 100 percent and i just feel like god made me 1000 percent authentic and true to my season as is and that's that's also the main reason why i just knew that ministry school wasn't for me on top of i wake up till 5 a.m and i was working at that time the whole day till 9 p.m every single day like it was impossible for me to even engage in ministry school um but yeah i just wanted to say that nothing wrong that the church was doing i was never disrespected never made me forced to do anything that i didn't want to do i just knew in my heart that it wasn't for me um so I cut it off instantly when I knew that this wasn't the path God wanted me to be on. I've just been thinking, and this is where things get really uncomfortable for me. Um, I, I start thinking like, I don't even know why I'm so emotional about this. But I start thinking like, I feel like ministry school taught me that I am not a Christian, that maybe I just love God, but then I'm, I can't, so I made a thread about it. And I got a lot of people started to respond to me and they're like, what do you mean you lo love God? Like, who do you follow? Who do you mean? Like, do you, do you love Allah or do you love Jesus? And I'm starting to question like, is loving God just not enough? In my personal opinion, I believe that religion just separates people. There's different, things specific things that people follow per religion but overall my personal opinion is like god is one god is a family and religion just separates people but like i said there's been a lot of things in the christianity world that's really been able to shift my world and the reason i feel like i'm not a christian and i'm and i'm more just spiritual and i just love god is because i believe that there's a lot of things in the bible that i know that i'm just not following so am i a bad christian or am I just not a Christian? Because one thing about me is I refuse to be anywhere where I feel like I'm going to be judged. I'm going to be misled and I don't truly follow everything. So I try my best to be as truthful as I can. And if I'm being honest, I don't know if I believe everything that the Bible is teaching me, um, which makes me kind of believe that I am not a Christian and I'm just somebody that loves God and is spiritual. Oh my God, <laughs> am I dropping a tear? But to me, I... I don't really know and it literally hurts to say that because i feel like christianity is really what held my hand why is really what held my hand or was it just a journey that i was just learning about different faiths to get closer to god like if i could be completely honest i don't know where i'm at right now and i think that's what's most uncomfortable because I know where my heart lies with God, but I'm also questioning, is it because I don't know that I'm getting 
further away from God because the moment that I got close to Christianity, my faith, I started seeing angel numbers every single day for like literally 10 times a day since I left my relationship. Um, and I knew that my ancestors, specifically my grandma, has been guiding me and watching me and being with me every single day. But I'm also a bit confused because my grandma is on my dad's side and my dad is Muslim. And I don't know how she feels about me being a Christian. Will she still watch after me and protect me? If y'all know, y'all gonna learn today, I'm very emotional, um, I'm very vulnerable, but I can't hide from my truth. Maybe you guys could give me some insight that I don't know down in the comment box. I feel like this is a very touchy subject but it needs to be something to talk about because I know I'm not the only one that questions this type of stuff. And I feel like, like I, I feel a bit disrespectful to the Christianity community if I'm kind of turning my back away from the people that fully open their arms to me. So if I could be honest, I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, and as you can see, my, my spirit feels really uneasy saying that. But one thing I can say is worship music. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love listening to worship music. And I'm going to go ahead and put my playlist down below so you guys can see it. Because I want to share that with everyone. One thing I do know for sure is church changed my life. Helped me get to the next level. Um, worship music changed my life. Uh, worship music does wonders to me in my life daily. Um... So am I wrong for saying I'm not a Christian? Am I a Christian? Because these are the things that I love. I also want to add, now that I'm editing this video, um, I think I love Christianity so much because it brought a community to me um, knowing that it was something that I really needed. Right? I didn't get that from um, my Muslim practice when I was in Seattle because no one really taught it to me. When I went to the mosque, it was so hard to understand, but something about Christianity, I was able to fully open up. I was able to fully feel welcome. It was because the um, exposures that I've been around, right? I've been exposed to Christianity by multiple different people and it was full open arms. I moved out here in Vegas knowing absolutely nobody and literally it felt like home when I went there and I didn't even know a single soul inside of that church. And so I think that's why um, I loved it so much. And I feel like I'm at a, it's it's so difficult knowing that I didn't come from a Christian home. And my family is the most precious thing to me, but they are not a Christian. And I think that's why I question my grandma because my grandma is from my dad's side, which is, you know, the Muslim faith. But to be realistic with you, regardless if she was in the Muslim community and I'm in the Christian community, the whole time while I've been out here in Vegas, I know that she's been holding me along the whole way. So is it really a religion that's separating us? Because I think it is. I, I think it is. Um, because why do I feel like this? Why do I feel so separated from my family and feel like such an outcast? Because I'm actually in love with Christianity and all that it's done to me. But I know like if my family knew what I loved, I feel like I would be disrespecting them. And so this is, I hate religion. I don't, this is a part of why I don't want to be considered a religion because I feel like it, it separates people. And, you know, even one of my closest friends, she's gotten really close to Christianity too. It, it makes you guilt trip when you know everything you're not supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to be drinking. You're not supposed to be having sex. You're not supposed to be cursing. You're not supposed to be gossiping. You're not supposed to be doing this, that, and the third. But majority of people do anyway. So it makes you guilt trip about yourself like you're not good enough. You're unworthy. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just dumping my thoughts, y'all. I'm going to continue with the rest of my videos because now I'm just talking about, um, this is why I want to end this video. I don't really have nothing else to say. I feel like I just want to share how I feel on here and maybe you guys could comment down in the comment section, um, and let me know what you think I am or if it's okay to not be anything or I don't know because... 
me and my grandma even though i've only met her a few times and it was when i was a baby before she died i know that she's with me and she's watching me every single day but i know that you know she's muslim and i don't know how she feels about me me being a christian um You have to be a different level of spiritual to really understand the ancestors side and our spirits and our angels and the people that are watching us. Um, so I won't be surprised I'm getting a lot of um, arrogant hate comments. Um, but hopefully you guys have grace with me and don't bash me in the comments. But I really want to know your opinion because this has been heavy on my heart. Um, and I'm like, dang. How close am I with God if I don't say I'm a Christian? I'm really struggling and figuring that out right now because I need God in my life. But that is it. That is all. Um, I hate to cry on camera, but I'm just... I really want to create a space where I could just be myself. I could open up. I could film what I want to. Um, and yeah, just be who I am. So subscribe to my channel if you like my vibes and that's gonna be it bye guys